coffee. We drink it every day. It comes in multiple varieties, iced, hot, cappuccino, latte. But did you know that there is a huge gap between the most basic coffee you buy at the supermarket or Starbucks and the most expensive coffee in the world, which can cost up to $1,000 per pound? Well, today we are gonna navigate that gap and take you from the cheapest, most average coffee to the most exquisite and expensive on the planet. You know that came out of the butt of an elephant. <laughs> Hey connoisseurs, welcome to Levels of Luxury, the show where we help you climb the ladder of luxury products from the most basic to the most expensive and luxurious in the world. Today, we're gonna to be looking at coffee and explaining why not all coffees are created equal. We're gonna take you from something basic like the Starbucks blonde roast up to black ivory coffee, the most expensive coffee in the world. Let's go. So this is the Starbucks Blonde Roast and uh, it's about $40 a pound. I'm using the Nespresso version because I only drink cappuccinos. I mean, what other coffee is worth drinking, huh? Anyway, let's brew this up and check it out. Okay, we got it here. Let's give it a try. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's better than the Starbucks cappuccino you'd buy in the store, but I think we gotta take it up a level. We are going to look at some speciality coffees grown on islands in the Pacific. So we have Kona coffee from Hawaii. Now, the first coffee beans were brought to the Kona district in Hawaii in 1828 by this guy, Samuel Reverend Ruggles. The coffee is now grown on small family farms in rich volcanic soil on the slopes of Hualalai and Mauna Loa on the big island of Hawaii and is considered the best coffee Hawaii has to offer. State law requires producers to identify genuine Kona coffee with the phrase 100% Kona coffee on the packaging. So if you see anything that says Kona style or Kona roast, that's not Kona coffee. It has to say 100% Kona coffee on the bag. And I bought this bag for $45 and this is half a pound. So that means this coffee is about $90 per pound. try it. Let's give it a go. Mmm, that is really smooth. So I'm drinking it with no milk, no sugar, and I don't normally like coffee like this, but I tell you what, mm, it really has got a nice smooth flavor. Now, also at this level of luxury coffee, I'm going to give you one bonus coffee, which is the Galapagos Islands coffee from Nespresso. These are currently the most expensive Nespresso pods on Nespresso's website at $2 a pod, which works out at about $160 per pound. Although obviously if you were buying in bulk, not in Nespresso pods, you would probably get a discount. So maybe around $100 to $120 per pound. The coffee is grown on the Galapagos Islands in the Pacific, which despite its low altitude is able to grow Arabica coffee that would normally require an elevation of 4,000 feet above sea level. On the Galapagos Islands, they can grow these beans at 1,000 feet above sea level thanks to the Humboldt Current, which is a low salinity cool current that surrounds the San Cristobal Island and generates moist cool air that would normally only exist at higher altitudes. Okay, let's try it. So it's supposed to taste like a biscuit with a cocoa-like bitterness. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know whether I can taste a biscuit with cocoa-like bitterness, but it certainly is a really nice coffee. Mmm. And this is how I like to drink it, cappuccino. All right, now let's get in to some really high-level coffees. So first up, we have Kopi Luwak. This is coffee that has been eaten and then defecated out by an Asian palm civet, this little creature that resides in Southeast Asia. They eat the coffee cherries and then poop out the beans inside intact. Now, what I wanna say is why, just why? Well, producers of this coffee say that the civets only choose to eat 
the best ripest coffee cherries and thus the best coffee beans. And additionally, they say that as the coffee beans pass through them, because the bean itself is not digested, they take on certain digestive enzymes that enhance the coffee's flavor. So that's all great and all. These civets get their coffee cherries and rich people get their luxury poo coffee. But the sad side of this story is that the popularity of this coffee has given rise to intense farming methods where the animals are kept in tiny cages and fed only coffee cherries which don't contain the full set of nutrients they need. Thus they end up malnourished, lose their fur and sometimes even go crazy. Now some of this coffee that is exported to the West is still labelled wild caught Kopi Luwak coffee. So there is no way of knowing that the coffee that you're buying is or isn't tainted by this cruelty. And so for that reason, I did not buy Kopi Luwak coffee for this video. But from sources I found to buy it from, it seems to cost around $463 per pound, making it probably the world's second most expensive coffee. So what is the most expensive coffee in the world? Well, in this box, I have black ivory coffee, which is actually the world's most expensive coffee. But first of all, how is it made? And does that involve it being pooped out of some animal? <laughs> well, actually, here's an explanation. So the manufacture of black ivory coffee starts with Arabica beans that are grown at an altitude of around 4,000 feet above sea level in Thailand. The cherries are then brought to a farm and mixed with the favorite food of elephants. Yep, you've guessed it. You know what's going to happen here. Each elephant has its own blend of coffee cherries and bananas, rice, taramins, etc. Whatever he wants. Then after between 12 and 72 hours, the coffee has passed through the elephant. So then once deposited by the elephants, I love the use of that word, deposited. They mean pooped out, people. But yeah, once deposited, the elephant caregivers handpick the coffee beans out of the dung. And then they employ local school children to process the coffee further. Now, don't worry, these are final year high school school children. Okay, they are of working age in Thailand. And the Black Ivory Coffee Company is big on social responsibility. So this coffee ends up costing approximately $1,000 per pound. And in this box, I have three Nespresso pods. That's right. Let's check it out. Okay. I had to import this from a coffee dealer in Holland. And here we go. I paid $90 for just three Nespresso pods of black ivory coffee. So I've been dying to try these. Let's brew them up and check them out. So finally, we get to taste the most expensive coffee in the world. I'm kind of scared to try this, to, to be honest. I don't know if I want to do it. Maybe I won't. No. All right, let's just do it. Mmm. Wow. It actually tastes a lot different to the other coffees. It really does taste... I mean, it's nice. It's actually nice. Let's try it again. Mmm. Yeah, it's smooth. It's a way different flavor to what I was expecting. So, and it's not bitter at all. It's sort of a earthy sort of, uh, I'm terrible at tasting coffees anyway. Mmm. It's really, really good. I really want to see what my wife thinks of it. Here, try this coffee. What do you mm, think? Really nice. Really nice. Try some more. Mm. You know that came out of the butt of an elephant. <coughs> <laughs> 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 but it's nice coffee, right? It's actually quite nice, yeah. <laughs> That's already messed yeah. up. Now you may be wondering, in the end, how much did this whole cup of coffee cost? So the actual coffee itself, the elephant poo coffee, black ivory, that comes out to about $30 per cup. Uh, then we have the water, we used Evian. Got the bottle here. Pretty nice, uh, but it's a very minute amount of water, so probably only like 20 cents. Uh, and then we got the milk. I bought the most sort of hipsterish organic milk. I tried to get this milk from Japan where the farmers massage the cows to make them really relaxed and thus the milk tastes really nice. I couldn't find anywhere that imports it to the United States. So I ended up with this, yeah, hipsterish organic milk that costs about, probably about 30 cents uh, per coffee cup. So in total, that comes to $35.50. Wait a minute. Wouldn't that be $30.50? No, there's one more thing.
It's the most expensive coffee in the world. It's only right that it gets the exclusive one-time use of a cup, huh? So anyway, we're talking 30 plus dollars per cup. And that would mean that if you ordered this in a coffee shop, when they add in their overheads and margins, this coffee would be over $50 per cup if you ordered it in a coffee shop. It truly is the most expensive coffee in the world. All right, guys, I hope you've liked this episode, climbing the ladder of the world's most expensive coffees. If you liked it, please leave a comment below and please subscribe to our channel and together we can take it to the next level. Bye-bye.